Hey everyone, it's Kayla Ariel, and today I'm gonna be doing a chit chat, get ready with me, and talking about my hair. I did cut my hair off. I cut my hair off probably like a week ago. Um, I'm just gonna do a 360 so y'all can see what it looks like, and then I'm gonna talk about why I cut my hair, and yeah, everything about it. So, yeah. This is what it's looking like in the back. I am growing a rat tail for the back. So I left this long how it was. And then I just shaved both of the sides to get a mohawk. It's been about a week since I cut my hair off. So that's why it's kind of growing out. But I got two like two lines on both sides. And then I left my baby hairs and my sideburns on the haircut. So y'all, um, probably like, I've always wanted this haircut. I've always wanted this mohawk haircut. If, um, I've actually been natural since 2012, but I always cut my hair like every couple years or every other year. I've always done that. Even when it gets long, I just get bored with it or tired of it or I just want something different and I love short hair like I really love short hair when I have short hair I feel the most confident I don't know it just make me feel just super pretty and I don't have to do much to it when I do have short hair like now I still have to do my hair because I do got the top and I do got basically the middle of the section of my hair but it's like I don't have a bad hair day it just always comes out nice no matter what when i have short hair or like styles like this this whole time i've been growing my hair out i just ain't been feeling it like no matter what style i do i just have not been feeling it i didn't feel cute and i was just getting to the point where i didn't want no braids I didn't want a sew-in. If I get a sew-in, I'll take it right out. If I get braids, I'll take it right out. Within the same week or same day, I was just taking my stuff out. And I was just not feeling it. Everything I got, nothing was making me feel cute. And I didn't want any color. I really enjoy having the dark hair as of right now. So I didn't want any color, didn't care. And even when I was seeing like pictures of people I usually I look at like Pinterest and stuff for different hairstyles or to be like, keep going, keep growing your hair out. Even when I was seeing stuff like that, I was like, this is not working. This is not making me want to keep my hair. I don't see nobody with a big old afro or big curly hair or whatever and be like, yes, keep going. I'm just like so over it. So I was just feeling like that. And I would look at the cut life and short tapered hairstyles on Pinterest and stuff. And that would just be like, yes, I need that. That's what I want. I want short hair, but I was like, no, I said I was gonna grow it out. Let me just keep growing my hair out. So months and months and months passed. And then like two weeks ago, I was like, bro, I'm over this. I don't, nothing is catching my attention. I don't care to have this hair. I don't feel cute with no style. Like, and I didn't want no braids because my edges have been hurting a whole bunch getting braids. And what else was bothering me? Yeah, anytime I would put some weave in my hair, it would just make my head itch. Like my head, like my head would never itch so much with weave. It would itch sometimes, but this time, like, two days into wearing the hair, my head was itching and I could not take it no more. And I was wearing a lot of faux locks. I meant like soft lock styles. Nothing I had with soft locks was cute. And I was like, maybe I'll try some color in my braided styles. And I'd be like, yeah, maybe I'll try some color and see if I like it. I think I was gonna do red and I actually bought the hair. And then when I got back home, I was like, I don't want this red. I don't want this at all. So that was the day I was like, y'all, I text my friends. I was like, y'all, I really am over this. I want to cut my hair. I feel like I need to change. And I love short hair. And it was just like, 
go for it. Just do it. Do what makes you happy. And I feel like every time I do go short, I always end up, um, every time I do go short, I always end up just immediately growing it out after like a month. Or I'd be like, all right, let me get to growing it out. I don't know why I do that. I don't know why I just don't enjoy having short hair. And that's why people, some people be telling me, Kayla, you need to grow your hair. I need to have your big afro and stuff. So I was just like, yeah, let me grow my hair out. But I don't really care to have long hair, honestly. I don't care, at least right now, I don't care to have long hair. Because all I do anyways when it's long is wearing a bun. And that bun... My hair is so thick and kinky when I wear a bun. It's just too tight. Too tight. It'll be thick. Now we have to use a whole bunch of gel anyway, so it'll take forever to dry. So I was like, yeah. I don't want that either. I was like, let me just. I started looking at barbershops and this guy i've been braiding his hair for like years he cuts hair so i was like i'm gonna book an appointment book an appointment and then i just went to the barbershop i was like, i'm gonna cut it i had found this girl this lady on instagram she had this style she had a cut she didn't have the rat tail but she had it tapered like a tapered mohawk and her curly hair and that's what i showed him um She's what she was like the inspo for my haircut. I think her name is Coconut Curls, or it's something like that. I can't remember it, but she's the one that made me think. Yeah, let me get this taper mohawk because I've had a taper cut before. I've had a taper cut several times, and this has always been my favorite short style, the taper cut. But I never had a mohawk. I never grew had it all the way down, and I never had a red tail. So now, um. We're not a red tail. I'm super excited about a red tail. I'm super excited about my haircut. And this time, I don't know. I just feel different about my hair being cut this time. I don't have an urge to grow it back. I'm not tired of it. No matter what I put on, like, no matter what clothes I put on, I look cute with this haircut. No matter what I do. I just feel myself all the time. And I do not want to grow it out. I might do some colors. I don't know. I'm thinking about doing some colors when it gets summertime to my hair. I don't know what colors yet, but I'm thinking about doing something. I haven't, I've been blonde before, but it was when my hair was like really, really short, like two years ago. I had cut it and it was blonde. And that was nice. It was a cute blonde, but I never had like, I kind of want to do like a three-tone blonde, like blonde mixed with some browns and stuff. That's what I kind of want to do. I was thinking about doing that when it gets summertime or maybe some color color because I do like doing colors to my hair. But I didn't want to do color when my hair was longer because color, no matter what, even if you are, taking the best care of your hair. No matter what, it does change your hair. It does make it harder to do. It changes the um, the texture of it. It loosens it a little bit and it changes the feel of your hair. It just happens like your hair still can be good and pretty healthy, but color does change in it. And over time, your hair, um, it can get kind of brittle with color. So it's for me, it's easier to have color with short hair because I don't do much to my hair. Like my routine is not much. And when my hair was longer, I didn't wash it that much or deep condition and you can't be doing that with color. Like you need to stay on your stuff. So now I have shorter hair, I might do that. But right now I'm just really enjoying this cut that I have. I'm really loving it. I feel really confident with short hair. Um. Yeah, so like if you want to cut your hair, just cut your hair. When you want to do it, don't think about nobody else. Don't think about what nobody's going to think. Just go ahead and do it. If that's what you want to do.
because once you do it and you don't care what nobody think, you're not doing it for nobody else, you're only doing it for you, then you're gonna be super happy. You're gonna love your hair, love yourself. That goes for even anything. If you wanna relax your hair, relax your hair. You don't got to be fully natural. It don't mean you don't love yourself or love everything about you. Like, you just don't feel like doing your hair. Or it, maybe it's, it is tough to do natural hair. People say it's not hard, but it, it, it can be hard. Um, especially depending on your texture. Like me, I can do my hair and take care of my hair. I've grown my hair out several times, all the way to bra strap and a little bit longer. And it still would take me hours to do my hair. It takes a long time. It takes up time and a lot of times people don't have that. Even if you want to do something like me and twist, you sitting there for four hours, you might as well put a good show on and start doing your hair because you're going to be there for a minute. So that goes for anything. If you want to relax your hair, go go and relax your hair. If you want to be a natural and you just wear your hair flat iron and you want to burn it, wear your hair flat iron. You can only wear your hair straight. You don't got to keep your hair in a fresh twist out or all this, always keep it natural, scared about damage. Because some of y'all don't even wear it out. You be having it protected the whole year because you can't deal with your hair. You might as well just wear it how you want. And if you want to keep it flat iron, keep it flat iron. If you want to cut it off, cut it off. You want to relax it, relax it. Whatever is going to make you happy, whatever is going to make you feel good, whatever works for you. People are busy. People just like certain looks. People want a certain look. But the only thing is I remember of why I was like, ugh, with my short hair is because after a week, y'all, I be wanting a fresh haircut. I be wanting my hair to be cut and low every day. But it don't work like that. Your hair going to grow out. And it's gonna do what it wanna do. But that's the only thing about the short hair. I be wanting a fresh cut every freaking week. Finish with my makeup. I did just a light makeup. Honestly, this is just all I do with my makeup because I'm not that good with makeup. I just started doing makeup last year. And I still got the same products that I did when I went to the store and bought them the first time. But I'm about to try to start doing my makeup a little more. Now that I'm not going to do too many stuff to my hair, I'm going to do more hair tutorials and all this stuff and use models for tutorials, but I'm going to do some other stuff. But like I was saying, y'all, this is my hair. Y'all, make sure you just live life how you want to live. Do what you want to do. Do your hair how you want to do because somebody going to say something regardless. Somebody going to like it. Somebody not going to like it. It's always gonna have somebody to say something so you might as well do what make you happy everybody else can be mad so yeah do what you want to do y'all thank y'all for watching and make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video